like I said when I was fitted I, I thought they'd outlast the bike but Bandit never asked him what is blowing exactly but I'm not sure so I've squirted all the joints with that <clears throat> thinking that when I rev the engine it might just blast some discoloration on it you know to spot what the problem is exactly Let's have a listen. underneath now. Actually it's more visible from the other. Oh no, is it this side? No, because the side stands in the way there. You see, you see? A bit too dark isn't it? One thing I noticed originally there should be a lug hanging off the bottom of the engine, a sump, which goes into that bracket to hold the entire exhaust on. So that'll create a bit of, uh, me being missing, must have rotted off. That'll create a bit of tension on the mountings. There's a gasket there, which connects to the wire pipe. The gasket's here, of course. And that's all there is three pieces, you know, well, two silences of wire pipe and then connecting to the four into one. And there's a big gasket there, two little ones in here. And I do have space for all the lots, so when I have the patience, I'll take it apart. And it's such a faff. Not difficult, but, you know, taking stuff. Oh. That feels loose, doesn't it? Ah, oh, bugger. I just noticed. That one's fine. Oh, yeah. Off. You have to check all the other plastics off to see the mounting bolts and if that bracket's failed. <coughs> Little Royal Enfield badge I bought from a car and classic bike show at Hebden Bridge last year. Can you see? It's only a crappy, sticky plastic one. I thought it'd stick and look nice on the top of the rear red light, you know, on the top. But uh, they're better transfers, aren't they? <sighs> I think you have to take all this side off. Oh, it's there, isn't it? So I'll see if it'll tighten up. <sighs> well, I know what the, the noise is now, bloody hell. But I'm going to see if I can get the heat shield off. Stay in, you little sods. There's some dick with your dog in the back. Look at that. I thought it was this loose joint here, but... If something happened on the wire connector. Kind of moved back. I don't know. <sighs> well, I 
thought I'd better film this faffing just for reference everything I thought after fitting all them bits last year the exhaust would last forever but obviously not Spanish had dropped on the floor one, two three four grab rail I've put bloody cable ties on that charging said it's not that tricky. It's not gonna come off that is it? I should stand that out of the way so I've got more room. I'm not gonna rub against there. So if it's nothing corroded because when I assembled it all I squirted that with high temperature paint not that that would protect it exactly it was meant to have two little rubber covers but it disappeared over the past 17 years them to ping out. And just prayer press them in. Little plastic spring things. Don't need to take it all off. Let's move out of where that mounting ball and then you can take the bloody thing off and see what's wrong with it. Uh, 12 is it? Yeah, not 10. So loose, it's just going to come off. Oh, but it's just a gasket, but it shouldn't be moving, should it? Them locking rings fail because they just mild steel, they just fall apart. That was a bit loose, wasn't it? It's a very long bolt. I'll support the weight. Oh, no. 
it's in there. There's two inch in there, that wire part's failed. <sighs> hmm. I wonder if I get that out by loosening that. I'll square that with some WD-40. Will it budge by wrapping it in some of that exhaust tape? But then it won't slip on properly. Oh no, well. Yeah, it's going to be wanting to move about, isn't it? Vibrate. I'll just vibrate loose if it's a hard connection. A new wire pipe. Why was that ratted so quickly? When was that two years ago? It was down pipes last year and it was a wire pipe the year before, I think. When I got it, that's suspicious because the, um, there was a collar around you know, an insertion depth collar, which came up to there and then you, you know, you turned it up and there wasn't one on here, and I thought, oh, that's strange, where's your collar gone? So as it failed in the past and they've just budged it on with a crap weld. That looks a bit of a clean break. I'll get this off and... It's not going to move without any... Well, the good news is I managed to get the remainder of the wire pipe out with that hacksaw, although the blade, crap cheap blade snapped a few times. Why would it fail there? Well, it's a stress point, I suppose. Oh no, that was inside. It just looks a, a clean break if it was rust. That they rusted through, but like I said, the little collar's gone. It's late now anyway. Good thing is I won't need to buy another silencer I'll we'll have to get the old gasket out of here That's a bit of a pain because it's all welded on Oh, that's just come off in a big chunk And if I squirted that with something, would it make it looser? If I just keep poking at it What can the gasket uh, to wire? Is that because they're not allowed to use asbestos anymore? Well, I've scraped all the old gaskets out. Like I said, it means I don't have to replace the silencer, just the clamp, which are quite dear. I'm sure they were 50 odd pounds, really 20 something and 50 odd pound a pair. How do you think? Imagine making them out of mild steel. But crumbling due to rust is unusual because the bike stays warm, so any water you think could um, you know, ev evaporate rather than rot the bloody exhaust. Or is it gases that cause it to fall apart? When I had my silver wing, got that from Goldwing International in Lim, American. It replaced the uh, side reflectors with electric lights to boost your 
in the cages that I never got around to fitting them. Oh, yeah, my finger right on it. Yes, as a repair, they are fire, the exhaust. <coughs> the only thing I could think of is go to a plumber, get some copper pipe, a smaller diameter, or measure that uh, there's a plumber's merchant up, up the road. That'd be not good, would it? Two of them. And wrap something round. Yeah, what I was thinking was a smaller damage copy pack just for strength. In there, and have the others sticking out. Put them on. Put some of that can you still buy that exhaust gum? <coughs> And then just budge it. I don't want to faff around bloody replacing the wire pipe again. <sighs> I don't know. <coughs> well, I haven't had anything to eat at all today apart from a brew and biscuits. My mate come Paul is going to take all this soil away on Saturday. I'll settle down and have something to eat. What a pain. So I can't tell you anymore. Let's have a listen. <laughs> See what it sounds like. <laughs> Challenges off. Wonder if that was a weak point. Rotting challenges. Was that over there? It shouldn't be. Wonder if that was why I was struggling to close it. Oh no, it wouldn't have held it back. That plastic bag. That plastic bag is what I did. When I tapped off the brake light for them extra brake lights here, I'm surprised you haven't pinged out yet then. I don't tempt fate. Someone's having a barbecue, it stinks. Right, so I've got two of them. I go to that plumbing place. What's the damage of that? Oh, I'll make sure. Yeah, copper pipe. Heat proof glue. Hmm. Well, that gun stuff, I used to have a tin of that. And the Aprilia exhaust rotted. What's it called? Gun gum or something. It's just a budge, you know, until. Well, I'll have a look on eBay. I'm going to need a new one, aren't I? A new wire pipe. What a pain. Might as well get a fresh bloody bike. <laughs> and I should have saved some of that money. And on that bombshell, I'll say goodbye. You right, Ching Ching? You right, baby? Been eating? You right? A bit of bad tooth again, have you? Mm-hmm.